Hi, my name's Todd McLeod, and you can find me on Twitter at toddmcleod.com, which is right there. And I'm hanging out with my friend Dean here. Hello. <laughs> Ni hao. Ni hao. <laughs> <laughs> Dean is uh, from China, and uh, you speak Chinese really well. I can't speak Chinese anywhere <laughs> nearly as well as you. But uh, we're uh, just uh, we're wanting to mock up um, some apps, so mobile apps, and the entire software design process. I come from like old school programming, yeah. where it was like HTML, yeah. and that was it. <laughs> it was like HTML, and uh, and kind of miss those beautiful days because it was like you'd have an idea and you'd sit down and you'd just start banging out some HTML, maybe a little CGI. And, uh, and then you know, connect it to a database, and you're good to go, and you'd use tables. And so a lot of that you could wrap your head around just by yourself, and you could code it by yourself. But today, if you want to code stuff, there's a much better software design process. And having spent my career in academia, so what you're going to learn in this video, <laughs> what you're going to learn in this video is what I am learning right now. And I'm learning it benefit of my friend Dean. Yeah who was a professional programmer for 14 years uh, and uh, ran a team and built some stuff. And, and so Dean has been helping me learn, like, how do you actually do it in ind industry? Because there is a difference between industry and academia. <laughs> in academia, the way you do it is you uh, read a few books and then you teach something. Um, often that's how it happens. And it's really hard to straddle actually being in the classroom and being a teacher, but then also understanding what happens in the industry, because those are like two different jobs, full-time yeah. jobs. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I do my best, and what I'm learning now with Dean is the software development process, mm -hmm. and that process uh, has a lot of planning. Yes. And so one of the things you want to do is you want to create a mock-up of what you're trying to build, and then you want to do some design specifications and architecture, and you want to figure out, like, when you architect it, where is information flowing from what service to what service. And, uh, and then also you want to uh, figure out what data you need to store and think about your data structures and detail and delineate all of those. Yeah. So it's a big process. But what we're doing right now is we're just going to mock up an app. And so this will be a several series of videos, what we're doing here, mocking up an app. And uh, we're going to be using a service called Proteo.io, which you can see right here on the screen. And we'll use some Photoshop to get some assets that we like. And so this is going to be a little bit rambly because it's actually the first time I've worked with Proteo.io. I've spent about an hour or two just banging away at it in the kitchen. And I thought, you know, we should really record this so that other people could benefit and learn what I'm learning right now. So. Um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. That's what these videos are going to be about. And you're going to see how to mock up an app. And you know what? <laughs> it's going to be totally awesome. So I'm, I'm the only one that's mic'd. So I'll, I'll be doing the talking mostly. And if, if uh, Dean needs to say something, I could just maybe hold the lapel mic over. Because uh -huh. i got to buy another mic so we could do uh -huh. two people more easily. All right. See you in the next video. <laughs> see you. <laughs>